today I'm gonna show you how to do a blood draw with a butterfly needle. And this is a butterfly needle, uh, obviously because it has wings, and then much easier to use. And then we have our tubes, we have the alcohol pad, the band-aid, and we have the gauze pad uh, to take care of the patient after we're done drawing blood. So the first thing um, you're gonna do is uh, put on the tourniquet, so we have to look for a vein. And the tourniquet is gonna go, this is the crease of the elbow, it's gonna go about three to four inches above it. And once she puts on the tourniquet, she'll ask the patient if it's too tight. Is it good? Too tight? It's good. And then ask the patient to pump their fist a couple times, and she's gonna palpate. Well, palpation is where she's gonna just feel for a vein, and the vein will bounce back on her fingers, and she'll know that's a good vein. So you never go by sight, you always go by touch to feel for a vein. And he has a pretty good vein right in the middle, and this is the vein that we, this is the first uh, vein that we use in phlebotomy. This, and then there's choice two and three, okay. Once she has uh, palpated, she's gonna clean the area. And there is a proper way of cleaning the area. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the middle, go circular, out, and that's cleaning the area, okay. Then she's gonna grab her needle, which is gonna be a butterfly. And with the butterfly, she's gonna pinch the wings and uncap it. And what? And then the angle, she needs to create an angle about 15 degrees, so go a little bit more. 15 degrees, and then she, before she goes in, she's gonna tell the patient she's gonna feel a, pip, a little pinch. I'm gonna feel a little pinch. And the one good thing about a butterfly, it's a smaller needle, so it hurts less. And the other thing is, uh, whenever you um, have stuck the uh, needle inside the vein, you're gonna see a flash of blood. So that lets you know you hit a vein. And the way the blood comes down is when she takes one of the tubes and then inserts it into the plastic cup that she's holding in her hand. And then you'll see the blood just come down and collect into the tube. And then she'll take another one, the next one, and take that out. Then after that, she'll take off the tourniquet and tell the patient to release her, uh, release her fist. And then, and then, and then take the gauze pad, so she's gonna dispose of that, and then the gauze pad. And then after that, she'll put the bandaid on the patient, and that's it.